Today, let's begin the session with a short prayer. So, if you are in Shavasana, please stretch the body, turn over to one side and sit up. Sit up straight, close your eyes. Let's stand home, followed by a short prayer. Classes, face a bolster under your chest and the abdomen, knees slightly wide, and big toes touch together, heels fall apart. Relax your body on the bolster with your arms either extending forward, chin on the mat, or maybe you can just relax the arms and turn the head to one side. Take a few deep, slow, and long breaths. Focus on the breath and relax the body. Visualize your body from toes to the head. Relax the toes, the soles, the knees and the ankles. Relax the shins, the calves, the knees. Relax the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Now focus on the back. If you need to adjust the bolster according to your back condition, please do that. Try to keep the back long, each vertebra spaced equally. The abdomen is contracted in, and the spine is long. Relax the chest, relax the shoulders. Relax the arms. If your shoulders are tense, just move them a little away from the ears and relax. Now relax the neck, the head, and the face. Bring the awareness to the breath to relax the mind. Let go of the thoughts. Focus on the breath, long inhalations. Abdomen pushing against the bolster. As you exhale, contract the abdomen, allow the back to sit down. Try to follow a particular rhythm of your breath. Extend your inhalation. 
understand your resolution. Make it as slow as you can. Slow breath brings tremendous change to the state of mind. There's a direct relation between the state of mind and your back. When the mind is relaxed, when the back is comfortable. Now we gently turn the head to the other side and let's practice a few deep breaths in this posture. Breathing with full awareness. Feel the rising feeling according to the rhythm of your own breath. Feel the movement of the abdomen with each breath. Taking your own time, bring the head back to the center and very gently slowly sit up. Now, place the bolster aside and come up in the tabletop position. So, your knees are hip width apart, but it's stand, uh, stacked on top of the knees and shoulders stacked right on top of the wrist. The cat pose. Take a few breaths here in this position. Now focus on pressing the shin bones to the mat. Press the shin bones, this part of your leg, down to the mat. Take a few breaths, long inhale and long exhale. As you exhale, contract the abdomen towards the back and keep pressing the shin bones on the mat. The weight of the body is balanced on the hands and on the shin bones. Keep breathing. Breathe with full awareness. And now, as you inhale, arch your back, Umajirasana. Stretch the chin forward and the hip pushes back. Pay full awareness. Do not lose the alignment of the body. And keep pressing the shin bones. As you exhale, round your back. Contract the abdomen towards the back. Bring the chin close to the chest. Keep pressing the shin bones. Don't lose that contact. As you inhale, arch your back. Push the hip back. Stretch the chin forward. Exhale, round the back, bring the chin in, abdomen close to the back. As you inhale, arch your back, 
push the hip back, stretch the chin forward. Feel it on the spine, feel it on the back. Exhale, around your back. Draw the chin in, draw the abdomen in. Press on the shin bones. Shoulders on top of the wrist. Two more times. Inhale, arch your back, push the hip back. Stretch your chin forward. Chin bones pressing down. Exhale, round your back. Draw the chin to the chest, abdomen towards the back. One more time. Inhale, arch your back, push the hip back, stretch the chin forward, watch the contact of the shin bones with the mat. As you exhale, round the back, bring the chin close to the chest, abdomen towards the back. Inhale, back to the neutral position. Now, tuck the toes in, lift the knees up, and move into the inverted V Padvatasana or the downward dog. Your feet are apart hip width. Stay here and breathe. Now, watch your shoulders. If the shoulders are raised up towards the ears, soften the elbows and move the shoulders away from the ears. You look to the toes. And stay here for a few breaths. Now focus on pressing the heels, the feet down. So let us now bring the leg feet a little closer. And first come up high on the toes. Watch me if you have doubt. So your body moves a sort of into the plank and you are up on the toes. And then bring the heels down, move into the Padadasana. Now bend the left knee. What did I say? Bend the left knee, left toes are on the mat and focus on the right foot. Press the toes on the mat, the right foot and then watch your outer edge and the inner edge, the right foot. First. Press the outer edge, then the inner edge, and then bring the heel down, the right heel down. Feel a good stretch in the hamstrings. Keep the knee straight, the right knee. Hold and breathe. Point of time, you are tired. Please take rest in the supported child's pose. Now, bend the right knee, come up high on the right toes and press the left heel down, left foot down. So focus on the left toes, the outer edge, the inner edge and the heel. Feel a good stretch in the left hamstrings. Keep the left knee straight and the right knee is bent. Breathe here. And now bring the right foot also down. Take a deep breath in and exhale the breath completely. Practice four more breaths in this way. Inhale a deep breath. Exhale. Your back is long, the spine is open. So each vertebra is getting to breathe and there is an equal spacing between the vertebrae. Do not tense any part of the body. If you are done with your five breaths, just bend the knees down and stretch your arms forward. Let us relax for a while into the puppy pose. So you have a choice to do it without a bolster or you can place a bolster under your chest and keep your chin on the bolster. Your buttocks are stacked on top of the knees. Your toes can be tucked in or just relax the toes. Now remove the bolster. Walk the hands back into the tabletop. 
have the toes in, come up into the inverted V or the Padmasana. Tuck the abdomen in. Push the chest up. Now, as you inhale, raise the right leg straight up. Do not tilt the hip. If your leg is a little lower down, it's all right. Keep the hip square. Do not tilt the body to one side. And slowly exhale, bring the right leg down. The left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale the right leg up. Keep looking to the toes, left toes. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale down. Now as you inhale, raise the right leg up. On the exhalation, bend the right knee and bring the right foot between the hands. Okay? So if you are really new to the practice, you can place the left knee down. We are getting ready for the warrior one, Veer Bhadrasana one. Those who have been in the practice, keep the left knee up, pivot the left foot in, place the left foot completely down and move the right hip buttock a little in, lift your hands and chest up, come up. Place the hands on the right thigh and push the pelvis down, align the right knee on top of the ankle. So right knee and the ankle are in one straight line. Now watch your left leg. Keep it really strong and lift it away from the mat. Keep it really strong. Knee straight, left knee. Now, if you're comfortable here, just raise the arms up and breathe here. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly. Place the hands down by the side of the right foot. Take the right leg back. Stay here and breathe. Keep pushing the chest down. Abdomen is pulled in. Now, take the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee and bring the left foot in between the hands. So your choice, you can place the right knee down or keep the right knee lifted up. And then pivot the right foot, place the right foot completely down, push the left buttock in, place the hands up and the chest up, place the hands on the left thigh, push the pelvis down. If you're comfortable here, raise the arms up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Hands down, hold the leg back, into the inverted V pose. Stay here for two breaths. And now bend the knees. Move your chest and the hands forward. Stack your buttocks on top of the feet and you will place the bolster under your chest. Take rest here. Now, remove the bolster and place the elbows down, forearms down. Move the legs a little back. Lie down on your abdomen with your arms extending forward. Pour it on the mat. Advasana. Take a few breaths here and relax the body.
Now prepare for the sphinx pose. Separate the legs hip width apart. Bend the elbows and place the forearms on the mat. Lift the head up, chest up. Align the shoulders and the elbows. So watch it. Look down and watch your alignment. Shoulders are right on top of the elbows. Arms are down on the mat. Arms are shoulder width apart. And legs are hip width apart. Keep the head in the neutral position. Close your eyes and breathe here. Slowly exhale, bring the head and chest down, extend the arms forward, relax in adverse and again. So this is your limit to hold the posture and then place the hands down without putting much pressure on the hands. Close your eyes and breathe here. Slowly, as you exhale, please bring the head down, chest down. And now we relax into the Matsi Kridasana pose. I'm doing it for the right side. Bend the right knee up and place the head down, the left cheek on the mat. Hold and breathe here. If you've attended the previous classes, we have told you this posture a couple of times. Focus on deep breathing, slow breathing. There's no pressure anywhere in the body. Simply let go and relax. Stretch the right leg back, bring the forehead down, and now we get ready for Shalabhasana. So place your arms under the body. You may interlock the fingers or place the hands down or make fist of your hands. Whichever way you find, do that. Okay? Now place the chin on the mat. Keep listening to the instruction. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Don't aim to lift it too high. Just work with the lower back. Keep the hip in the center. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Hold it here. One, two, three, four. Five, slowly bring the left leg down. Now bring the arms strong under the body, lift them close to the body with palms facing up 
and place the forehead down. Take two breaths. Now as you inhale, raise the legs up, head up, chest up, come up on the abdomen, raise the arms up, palms turn up. Hold here. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly bring the body down. Relax with Matthew Kidasin to the left side. Focus on the breath. Just let go in the body. Now stretch the left leg back, place the forehead down, we get ready for the Nurasana the bow pose. Bend the knees, hold your ankles. Inhale, lift your knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up and come up on the soft part of your abdomen. Close your eyes, hold the posture and breathe. If you're not able to come up in the full posture like this, as we've learned in the previous classes, you can do for one side and stretch the other arm forward and change the side. Try to lift the knees just a little more up. Feel a good contraction in the back. Stretch the chin more up and chest more up. Last five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come down. Place the forehead down. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Press the hands and come up to relax into the supported child's pose. Focus on the breath. And please slowly sit up. Now we get ready for half a spinal twist. So stretch both your legs forward. Sit up straight, bend the left knee, place the left foot anywhere along the right leg as per your comfort. Now place the left hand near the tailbone and hug your left knee with your right arm. Twist your body as much as you can comfortably to the left side. Look to the left shoulder. Don't do too much, just listen to your body. If the back hurts, do a gentle twist. Close your eyes and breathe. Contract the abdomen and see if you can twist just a little more.
slowly. Inhale, come back to the center and release the leg forward as you exhale. Now for the other side, bend the right knee, place the right foot anywhere along the left leg. Place the right hand close to the tailbone and hug your, wrap your left arm around the right knee. Twist your body to the right and look to the right shoulder. So just do what the body is ready for. Don't force yourself into the posture. Keep breathing. Close your eyes. Contract the abdomen on the exhalation and see if you can twist just a little more. Inhale, slowly come back to the center, release your arm, exhale. Now bring both the knees to the chest and sit up straight. Sit up from the lower back. Inhale, raise the chin up, keep the mouth closed and stay here. Feel a good stretch in the throat. Okay, keep breathing. As you exhale, lower the head down, bring the chin close to the chest. If you have cervical, please listen to your body. Inhale, bring the head back to the center. Exhale, very gently, turn the head to the right. Hold it. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, turn the head to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. Now, as you exhale, lower the head down towards the right shoulder. That gives a very good stretch in the left side of your neck. Inhale back to the center. As you exhale, lower the head down towards the left shoulder. Feel a good stretch in the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, release the posture. Now we need to stand up. So find your way, come up on the knees, bring the right foot forward, place the hands in the right thigh and stand up. To get ready for uh, the tree pose, so go near the wall, bend the right knee, place the right foot anywhere along the left leg. And wherever your foot is, try to move the right knee towards the wall behind. If you're not finding your balance support with one hand on the wall, and hold the right ankle with your right hand. Find a balance first. There is no hurry. Move the right knee away from the body. And balance your body weight evenly on the left foot. Don't be on the edge of the foot. Once you're balanced, move your hands into the prayer. And if you're Quite balanced here. Move your arms up with your elbows bent. And then if you're ready, raise the arms straight up. Arms pressing against each other. Move the right knee away from the body. So knee, the right knee is pointing sideways. Slowly release the posture. And let's work on the other side. Bend the left knee. Place the left foot anywhere along the right leg. Support with your support with the wall using your right hand. Hold the left ankle with your left hand. Find your balance. Move the left knee away from the body and balance the weight on the 
right foot evenly now bring your hands to the prayer to the chest once you're ready raise the arms up and straighten the arms up palms pressing against each other so keep moving the left knee away from the body keep the abdomen tucked in support the back with your abdomen and slowly release the posture now get ready for the standing forward bend with the support of wall so find your way stack your buttocks on top of the feet top of the heels tuck the abdomen in arms are along the ears look down so head and the spine are in one straight line abdomen is pulled in feet are pressing down pull the knee caps up hold for some time so you need to keep the abdomen nicely pulled in keep the back supported breathe here and slowly come up now it's time to lie down on back we relax into the supta badhakon asana so you'll be needing bolsters if you don't have bolster use cushions join the soles together and rest with your back on the mat you just find yourself a comfortable position where the knees can relax inner thighs can relax so join the soles together so watch it here if you have doubt the soles are touching and the knees are coming closer down towards the floor hold and breathe after a few breaths you may notice the body relaxes and you may remove the cushions from under the body my bolster is too high so i'm not finding comfort with the bolster now let's focus on the breath your arms can be in shavasan or you can place one palm on top of the other on the abdomen watch the upper body shoulders away from the ears chin close to the chest back completely on the mat inhale a deep breath and as you exhale contract the abdomen press the back actively down let's breathe a few times in this way find yourself more comfortable and relaxed you can remove the cushions from under the thighs you can place the feet anywhere according to your comfort either forward or closer to the body just be relaxed supta padakonasana
Now use your hands, hold the outside of the thighs and draw the knees together. Your knees are together, move the feet apart, point the toes in. Stay here for a few breaths. Lower back completely on the mat. So knees are together, feet are apart, the toes slightly in. Hold here. Now, prepare for the next posture, that's eye of the needle or Sucharindra Asana. So, place the feet and knees parallel. Now, bring the left foot across the right thigh. Hold the back of the right thigh with your hands and draw the knee, the right knee into the chest. You may be here, nothing to worry. If you are advanced in your practice, draw the knee a little closer and you can also hold the right shin bones or the back of the right thigh. Hold it here and breathe. Right toes are pointing in towards the head and the left knee moves away from the body. Lower back completely on the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Chin close to the chest. Let's stay here for a few breaths. And slowly, raise the posture, place the right foot down and the left foot down. Now for the other side, bend the, bring the right foot across the left thigh. And the right knee should be uh, pointing sideways. Now, bend, uh, bring the left knee closer to the body, hold the back of the left thigh. and breathe here. Left toes pointing towards the head, right knee moving away from the body, hold it here. Keep the lower back completely on the mat, don't lift the right side. And slowly, release the posture, place the left foot down and the right foot down. Stay here for two breaths. Now hold the ankles with your hands. If you cannot hold the ankles, just keep the hands down to the side of the feet. Setu Badasana. Inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up high as much as possible. Try to lift the buttocks high up, making your thighs parallel to the mat. Hold and breathe. And slowly exhale, come down. Hug the knees close to the chest, take rest. Press the lower back down. It's time now for Shavasana. So place the bolster under the knees and get ready for modified Shavasana. Keep the knees bent in Shavasana so that the lower back can press down completely. Arms six to eight inches away from the body. It palms your back. Move the shoulders down, bring the chin close to the chest. And just let go in the body. Watch each part of your body. 
scan the body from the toes to the head. Any tightness, any tension, anywhere. Let go consciously. Breath is calm, breath is slow, breath is peaceful. The body is completely relaxed. Keep the awareness on the slow breath. Relax. 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 Slowly coming out of Shavasana, bring your knees together and stretch the legs forward. Give a long final stretch to the body. Release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side, take support with your hand and slowly sit up. We end the class with the final mantras. You can sit on a cushion, edge of the cushion, to keep the back straight. Close your eyes and concentrate on the prayer. Bring your hands to the chest in the prayer position. Thumbs touching the heart center, shoulders away from the ears. experience in the comments and keep up with your practice with these four classes. Maybe you practice one class for a week and then you switch over to the next class in the next week and so on. I would like to have your uh, comments. Please do share your experience, how your back feels after these classes. And uh, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. Now, click on the notification bell to get notified of the latest uploads. Thank you so much for being in the class. Thank you for watching.